This is the field where we play our sports and enjoy recess time. Correct. It's called um, History Comes Alive, and in fifth grade we study about the United States hi history, and um, part of the history unit that we study is the Revolutionary War. We take a part of history that can be very stale, and we make it extremely exciting for the children by having them actually um, take on the roles of Paul Revere and John Hancock and uh, Sybil Lunnington, Molly Pitcher, Abigail Adams, and they um, sing and dance their way through the beginning of the revolution until after the signing of the Constitution. And when we're finished with the play, it's been a great experience for the children. They know their history. I have um, alumni come back all the time and say, uh, you know, Mrs. Lynn, my eighth grade his U.S. history class was a slam dunk because of the play. You know, we just remembered everything through, the, through song and dance and that we actually were acting ourselves um, as those um, famous people in history. And so um, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice way to teach my favorite subject in fifth grade. Um, this play is called History Comes Alive and we take parts from the Revolutionary War and people from that time and we sort of run through the play from how it really started and we tell the facts and we sing songs and dance, it's really fun. Yes, I am James Otis and I am Sybil Luddington. Well, first impressions, walking on the campus. You know, the, I had never seen the school before. I had never heard about it. I'd been to the website. Um, drove up into the parking lot and then walked out and my jaw dropped, literally, because the campus was so beautiful and idyllic and just had a wonderful uh, vibration to it talk about academics everybody talks about academics and we have that but most importantly the children leave with self-esteem no matter what they do no matter what they are they think they can become president even if they're in just an average Joe Blow they know that they can do anything that they put their mind to do and that's what we want to instill in them every child here has the ability to be a leader and we know that and that's our talent is to bring that out of every child that when they leave here they don't have to succumb to peer pressure. They don't have to do anything they don't want to do because they're unique. And that's what we try to instill in them more than anything. I don't know of a child that hasn't done well at the school of their choice. Not every school is for every child. And so we try to help all the parents find the right placement for their child, but there's never a place like Tunis Lahantich. And that's why it's wonderful to give your child a good elementary school foundation.